Hello everyone and welcome to the first episode of my quest to delete my save and regain Platinum God. Um, first real quick I guess we should go about deleting the save. My secrets are three lower because I have deleted my save before just for a little bit. And uh, that gave me the glitch where some of the secrets disappear. But I obviously since I have Platinum God I have all of them. Go to collection and delete save. So I kind of hope people watching this will enjoy uh, roguelikes because, quite frankly, most of the games I'm going to be playing upcoming in terms of longer plays are going to be that style. Isaac's the only character unlocked, so off we go. Um, I'm really looking forward to a couple of games that are still on their way out. Um, Rogue Legacy, Delver's Drop, which is uh, Kickstarter I actually backed. And um, obviously Binding of Isaac Rebirth I'm looking forward to, as well as the full version of Legend of Dungeons. So my uh, games I'm looking forward to are very much similar style of basic ideas for the gameplay. So although they're very different games in their own right, if you don't like roguelikes this might not be all that interesting going forward. So we're going to come in here, that is 11 cents. If we can get three more. Hmm. So I'm not going to be able to get into the shop if I don't go in there now. Yeah, I might as well. See if there's anything on sale. It's not notched axe, bomb, and speared heart. I'm not going to bother buying anything. So yeah, this should be a much shorter run than the last one, um, considering that the first run through on a save stops at mom, not at mom's heart, or the cathedral, or the chest, or shawl. This game just balloons outwards so much. You start out with such a small little game, just three areas of two levels apiece, and then all of a sudden you're playing for like an hour at a time. Pin is a very easy boss fight. I'm really sad that the best item that I could have right now, the only item I have right now, is telepathy for dummies. This item is almost pointless, but I'll use it regardless. I mean, I may as well. Now, if I remember right, the horsemen aren't unlocked until after you've beaten Mom. So it should be no cubes of meat or anything appearing this run. Pageant Boy. This is not a good start to the first run, but with only having to go up to Mom... It's not all that threatening to not have great items early because, quite frankly, you don't need great items for that. Pinky eye, not a bad trinket. Let's hope this little demon beggar here pays out for me. Nope, but we'll be back. I'm sure we'll get some hearts before I move on to the next floor. With two spirit hearts, I'm not too afraid of using some of them up. Perfectly timed key. I could have gone to the shop, hoped to get, you know, another key for sale, but I think this is the better option. Guarantee myself an item worth taking. Because pretty much, there are very few things I would not take over. Telepathy for dummies. Honestly, homing tears are not that big of a boost to useful, I'm a boost to your combat. And so to have a whole spacebar item taken up by something that doesn't really benefit you very much, is kind of not that good. I could use a bomb to get this half heart that's not really worth it. I'm going to keep on going. These guys should be easy, especially if Pinky Eye kicks in a decent amount. But we will kill this little guy here. And still nothing. So. We got a lot of money, but obviously no way to get to the shop. I would love to pick up something good in the shop, although I'm not sure what it can offer me right now. Like I know Blue Candle is not available until after you've beaten uh, Dark Was the Night Challenge, I believe it is. It is kind of interesting how, uh, how these... Uh, Sorry, brain freeze. It is kind of interesting how the game is so much different playing through it when you don't have everything unlocked. Because you really don't remember, if you've been playing a long time with everything, what's actually available to you. 
a lot of the items that you're looking for aren't going to be there. You know, we aren't going to find Mom's Knife on this run. We aren't going to find Epic Fetus. No Blue Candle. No Daddy's Love. A radioactive spider has appeared in the basement. That's an item that doesn't show up nearly often enough anymore. Oh, ho, ho, you better not lose me my devil robe. I will cry. Not literally, but in spirit, I'll be crying. Oh, god damn it. And there's a cane unlock. I should have had Eve by now, because I probably would have... Well, maybe not, because I might not have had enough hearts to take two deals with the devil, but... I would have liked to have been able to, uh... Pick that up. We'll go to the shop now, since we got buttloads of money and stuff. Nun's habit will buy. It's useless until we can get rid of this telepathy for dummies, but might as well have it in case we get something good. Tarot card is Wheel of Fortune. See if we can't get at least a heart or two in a few cents. Demon beggars aren't usually this stingy. Full health. That works. And... He pays out with Spirit of the Night. Thank you very much, Demon Beggar. That was well worth my time. Key and a bomb from there. Up here, we'll get this half heart. We're going to go to the arcade real briefly and try to win a blood bag in a couple plays. Yeah, it's another one. The Polaroid isn't going to show up, as weird as that is. You know, we're going to take IV bag over telepathy for dummies. At least this is useful if there are hearts laying on the floor that we haven't used yet. Telepathy for dummies just isn't worth it at all. It's not the most useless item in the game, but it's up there. Uh, Tersh pin is pointless right now. I mean, it does still give piercing shots occasionally, but I would rather have pinky eye and the poison damage than piercing shots. Well, in general, I would rather have piercing shots, but if I'm getting piercing shots once in a while versus uh, poison shots once in a while, I'll take the poison shots once in a while. So, this is an easy room. Unfortunately, I haven't managed to pull off the Basement Boy or uh, Spelunker Boy yet. I was kind of hoping those would have, at least one of those would happen in the first run. Maybe we can get a uh, Dark Boy. Maybe we can take on Depths with no damage. These guys will be simple, especially since we're flying. It is nice that at least missing out on that deal with the Devil Room didn't screw me out of the chance to get a good item along the style. Because Spirit of the Night is definitely worthwhile. It was one that I was hoping to find in the Devil Room. And instead, we found it randomly. I'm going to take Crack the Sky, actually. IV Bag has its uses, but I've got a lot of money already. And I might as well take an item that might be a little bit more powerful against enemies instead of using one that's only going to hurt myself. Here's a difficult decision. We've only got one and a half Spirit Hearts, but do we go in here? Sure. Two chests. One is a Troll Bomb, and the other is Three Flies. Worth half a spirit heart? Not really, but those things pay out quite often decently well, so I would say more often than not I end up ahead of where I came in, whether it's by an item or by picking up some spirit hearts. Steam sale, I might as well pick it up. I don't really need it, but I might as well. We'll grab that. And we're going to check right over here for the secret room. Nope. Now we'll just keep on going toward the boss. If I don't think any damage here, I'll check out that mob trap room. What's the official name of those? Challenge rooms? I think. Gold chest, let's try it. Oh, that's awesome. I am very glad that I opened that chest. 
Growth hormones is easily the best of the syringes. Well, I guess it depends situationally on what you need more, but I will almost always take damage over any other stat upgrade in the game. Let's see now. Kill that. Kill that guy. I've gotten some lucky poisons, but really we're just strong enough to kill those guys quick. These guys should be a bit less annoying now that I've got... I did not know they would stop like that. Now that I've got uh, higher damage, these guys are less of a threat. Curse Skull does not interest me in the least. And let's see if this will work. That actually did very good for us. Didn't kill them, but it got pretty close. Range upgrade, not all that great, but we'll take it, and down to the next floor. Oh. I actually forgot I had Nun's Habit. Unfortunately, the items that that stacks best with uh, aren't actually unlocked this early in the game. There's no Wafer, there's no Book of Revelations, there's no uh, Nail Unlocked. So I mean, Nun's Habit isn't as useful as it really is when you get it, when you've got a lot more stuff unlocked. Did I really just get hit by that thing? Dear Lord. So we'll check out this curse room and two bombs. So oh, well, could be worse. These guys should be easy. Just gonna stand here, knock them all down to ooze a couple times. That makes them weaker, so they die quicker. And we're done with this room. Get a bomb and let's fight the boss right away. Chubb doesn't really concern me. Didn't get much out of that, but we got at least some damage. We are going to, if I get a chance, get a bomb dropped in his mouth. It'll do a good chunk of damage. Not necessary, but it'll speed things up a little bit. And why not? We got enough bombs to use and we only got two floors left to use them. It's weird thing that this run is so close to being over. Angel room, a health upgrade, what's in here? Blood of the Martyr, another great damage upgrade. So, I'm just going to go ahead and say this now. Uh, Mom beating her, winning this round, getting the epilogue scene, it's almost a given. But I'm still going to explore because I do need to build up my collection and everything to get back to Platinum God. Get back to Golden God, even. So, we're going to keep going around the floor looking for the item rooms and everything. No use speedrunning just yet. This is going to be a short video either way. This is Tears Down. That's not cool. Not that it really concerns me, but it's still annoying. So we will take out this hive. I think that's their name, right? Hives? Blow up that tinted rock for a couple spirit hearts. Now we got a blood bag, blood bank, so we can go to that boss trap room unless it pays out really early. We will have cracked sky charged up by virtue of the miter, not the miter, the nun's habit. And we can't go to the boss room, but we got a blood bag. I will take that trade. If I can pull off two more health before I get to mom, I can unlock Maggie this run. I guess I could be looking for the second secret room, the super secret room, right there, and not what I was hoping for. Mushroom. You know, I don't like that one just because I do not like the damage down associated with the skinny on mushroom. It really annoys me when I have that trinket and all of a sudden in one room I know I'm doing less damage and taking longer to kill things than I should, even though I'm putting out more tears at a time. So we're going to blow up this TNT just to be safe, I guess. Go up here. We have no keys. I actually just realized that we have zero keys available. That's not cool. Here I am searching for the item room in the shop, and I've got no keys to go to either of them. He is going to give me the sun. Awesome card. I will take cancer over pinky eye. So now we kind of need to hope that the secret room is right here. Very good. That's going to get me in the shop, which will hopefully get me a key. 
as well as nine more cents that probably couldn't be less useful to me if they tried. Key, Spirit Heart, and Map. Okay, so now we're go. So now we're able to go to the item room. It's gonna give me Halo of Flies. Not a bad item. It's useful for defense. Granted, again, we aren't really going up against the things that it's most useful on. Uh, we got no way to bring my health down to go to that room, so... Well, I guess we could just walk in and out of the curse room over and over until we took enough damage to be down to one heart, but... That does not seem wise. Of course, we gotta get Necropolis, we can't just get the depths. I'm curious to see, I know Ed has said that he kind of wished that he had made the Wrath of the Lamb stuff unlock after a certain point of playing the game. I'm curious if he's actually going to instrument that in Rebirth now that they'll be able to, or if it's still going to be this stuff unlocked and new content that comes with uh, Rebirth will be unlocked at a certain point. I don't know, maybe it's because I got Wrath of the Lamb right at the beginning when it was unbalanced, but I've never found it to make as much of a difference as people say it does. It's been kind of... I mean, it's harder in some ways in the, than the vanilla game, but at the same time, there are also better items available with it. I mean, there was nothing you could get in the original game that was as strong as a Polyphetus Mom's Knife combo. Oh. Well, we get a full spirit heart for the half we lost, and then we lose it. Good job, me. I honestly thought I was fast enough after that blood bag to get past that guy. Tears down. Yep, I'm definitely going to take that one. That sounds like a great idea. Still no keys. Can't go to the shop just yet. This has been a rich run. And I expected to unlock Kane on the first run here, but not by this much. We have easily blown away the 55 cent requirement. Agreed, I kind of knew we were going to be fighting him. Has to happen sometime in a run. If you go through a run and you don't fight Greed, you just aren't playing the game fully. Or going to enough shops, I should say. Granted, you know, there are times when you don't have the resources to go to the shops. In which case, zero shops is the approximate amount that you should go to. But, Greed is... Almost every run, if you go to all, if you go to enough shops, you're gonna run into them. So, and that's gonna unlock the common cold, as well as make me fight two waves at once, because of the most annoying glitch that Wrath of the Lamb introduced. Well, I guess it wasn't really introduced by Wrath of the Lamb, but it was kind of exacerbated by it. You know, when you go to the uh, basement level challenge rooms, the um, the flies that spawn the first round aren't actually counted as enemies in there in Wrath of the Lamb, whereas they were before. And that makes it so that you end up fighting two waves at once, almost guaranteed on those early levels. Um, and then you got... Oh man, I hate zombies. But yeah, uh, Oh my god, are you serious? So yeah, um, pre-Wrath of the Lamb, you know, that wasn't so much of an issue. There were occasions when you would have, um, when you would run into things that were glitches like that. Like if you pause the game right after you started the room, you wouldn't take all three waves at once, stuff like that. But there was very little in the way of things like just it naturally spawning more enemies than it should, or the achievements setting it off. It has made the game a little bit more interesting in a way though. I'm not sure if I'm gonna have a video up Sunday or not. It depends on how much time I've got to record between uh, tomorrow and tonight because we got uh, my nephew's birthday party and my niece's baptism to go to tomorrow. So, that should be exciting. It's always kind of awkward going to uh, the events like that for my niece just because I'm not really an organized religion kind of guy. I wouldn't go as far as to say that I'm atheistic, but I'm really not into 
like going to church and everything. So it's always kind of awkward sitting there and being like going through these ceremonies that I'm not really sure what's going on, but nothing wrong with that. I know they could spark up a flame war, but I don't think I have enough viewers to where that's concerned right now. But yeah, you know, uh... I don't know, I know a lot of people are afraid to talk about that kind of stuff for fear that's going to invoke some kind of rage from one group or another, but... I'm kind of tired of the way the world is so incredibly politically correct to where you don't want to offend anyone ever or else you're a horrible person. I don't like that standpoint. People are going to be offended by you no matter what you try, so why avoid saying things to keep other people happy? And yeah, obviously if you're, you know, bigoted and you hate people who are from a different culture or race or whatever the case may be, then yeah, you should probably keep that one to yourself. But if you're just talking about things that someone might in some way find offensive at some point, but aren't really offensive to anyone who's not overly sensitive to it, or in some cases that aren't really used in the way that they take it, because that happens too, where you say something and somebody freaks out, and then, uh, that's not what I meant at all, but cool. That was not a good room. This will be... I found pills and ate them. Oh man, guys. Look at this. Look at this. We got the ladder. That is a game changer right there. I may be flying, but that ladder is going to come in super useful, you know? I'm liking these green turrets helping me out with the leapers. We're making me realize that maybe my damage isn't the size I thought it was, but... These guys will go down quick. Although I just ran into one of them for whatever reason. The Eternal Heart doesn't really help me because I'm not going down to the next floor. Sorry, my throat's a bit scratchy still. Usually when I wake up on times when my allergies have been acting up, my throat will be all scratchy in the morning, just like it happens when you have a cold that's really bad. And so that's been happening to me today. It's not as bad now, because I've been up for a while, I've had some, I've had a drink and everything, but it still takes a while to kind of calm down completely. Boom, 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 boom. These guys. Oh, come on. I thought you were going to die already. Screw you, knights. Oh, my God. There we go. Really? I've used up all my bombs by now? That's not good. I didn't even realize that. I thought I still had a lot left. It's kind of funny how these were my least favorite enemy in the vanilla game, and then their counterparts, almost the masks of infamy, are my least favorite enemy from Wrath of the Lamb. It shows you what style I hate, right? Things that you don't just hit head on. So still no bombs. I would like to blow up that tinted rock. I mean, at this point, let's be honest, I'm going to f beat this game. I got a sun card lined up to full heal myself, do damage. I've got more than enough health. What I really want to do is try to find out if I'm going to be able to pull off one more health upgrade and unlock Maggie before this run is over. I don't know, have I skipped two item rooms? If I skip this one, will that unlock Samson? Because I feel like I've taken everything I've come across, but I did also leave an item behind in one of them. I'm not sure how that registers, actually.
Because technically I didn't get an item from it. I know, it still counts. I'm like 90% sure, but... Okay, so what we're going to do is we're going to fight through this room, go to the item room. If it's something crappy, I might skip it just because I'm not sure if I have skipped one yet. And if I have, that could unlock Samson as well. And then we're going to go to the blood bank, put ourselves down to one heart. Mr. Boom, yeah, I'll leave that behind. Even if I wasn't trying to test out if I could unlock Samson, I would be leaving that behind. But we are going to kill the rest of this floor, take myself down to one red heart. And then we are going to go to that boss room over there, which is going to open up the path for us to get one more health upgrade, unlock Maggie. And that would be a pretty successful first run. Unlocking, if I could pull that off, it would be three characters, as well as various items, and beating the first run of Mom. In one run, I would take that. Well, I would really have liked to have, get it, to have gotten a Joker card, so I could jump to the deal with the Devil Room after getting, uh, after getting through this boss challenge room, and then I would be able to use that to go, uh, to go unlock Eve as well. But we're gonna come over here. Might as well pick up the money. Okay, that works too. So, we've unlocked Maggie now. The Ankh. If this weren't my first run through the game, that'd be really useful because it would allow me to unlock the D6 this run. Unfortunately, that's not the case, so onward to fight Mom. This is going to be a really easy fight, especially with how much that just hit her. Holy crap, Crack the Sky just rocked her. And so with that, we've reached the end of the first run through. As I mentioned, since that ended on, Mom's, on the original Mom, that's not a very long run. But we did make some good progress. We got, uh... We got through, uh... Sorry. We got through unlocking Kane, Maggie, and... I think that's all. Samson might show us unlocked after the credits here. Um, but other than that, we had a good run, got quite a few different variety of items. So I would say it's overall pretty successful. Let's wait till the credits are over, see what we've unlocked. Gertie. Monstro 2. Mom! and Isaac. So now let's see. Collection. No. You want stats. You found secrets. A cube of meat. Unlock cane. Whoa. Luckfoot. Spelunker. Common cold. Cube of meat. Yum heart. The womb. Harbingers. So we did not unlock Samson, but we did unlock 10 secrets on that one run. It's not a bad start. So with that, this episode is going to come to an end. Thank you all for stopping by. I hope you enjoyed the first run through of what will be several that will result in ultimately me regaining my Platinum God. Um, once again, th as always, thank you so much for stopping by. Um, I hope you enjoyed the video. If you did, you know, give me any kind of comments, feedback, any kind of help with me still getting used to this in the comments. Um, if you want to offer a subscribe or a like, that'd be cool. Um, other than that, um, I might be going, I might, uh, not have a video open up on Sunday, as I mentioned, because I will have quite a busy day. Um, I'm going to try to record something else, either today or tomorrow, so I can have one for then, for sure, but, um, I can't guarantee anything. So, for now, um, although if I can't, I might end up, uh, oh, blah, blah, blah. I might end up posting up a video of uh, off of my streams to at least have something up for that day, even though it's already viewable. But yeah, with that, I'm going to take off. 
Hope you guys all have had a good time watching this video. I know I've had a good time playing through it. And I'll see you next time.